Welcome to Broadcast Beat Studios in South Florida. This is Studio A, and right behind me is a Brainstorm Infinity set. Of course, we're using NCAM technology to do the tracking. We have Fluotech lights in the ceiling. But more importantly, I'm going to talk about the workflow of NAB Show Live. Let's go. All right, welcome to Control Room A. This is Deanna behind us. She's one of our senior engineers, helps us configure stuff. Let's talk about the new tech TriCaster. It's the TC2 Elite. It has graphics coming from the Brainstorm Aston server, and then on demand is what helps control it. Also, we have display, and display is a technology that's letting us parse data from Twitter and then feeding that information into Aston to then show those graphics on the air. One other thing that's really cool, we have a messaging system, so we're gonna be running QR codes on NAB Show Live this year. People can send messages from all over the world. Robert's gonna be our uh, graphics uh, person who's gonna be working here during the show. He'll get the message, screen them, make sure they're cool, put them into another system, and then it'll spit them out and put them on the air when our technical director, Mark, wants to run them on the air. This is the Behringer Wing audio console. We've got a lot of um, Dante audio signals that are going through the facility, doing all kinds of fun stuff, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. This is where, actually, Deanna is gonna be sitting here during the show. She'll be managing Aston. Deanna has a, a Clearcom headset on, so we'll talk about that workflow in just a minute, but it's really cool how we marry the digital universe with uh, the Clearcom headsets. So now we're gonna walk down the production hallway of Broadcast Beat Studios. Welcome to the Broadcast Beat Studios data center. We have two Cinedex servers. Each one is gonna record the same exact signals when we're in Vegas. Input one is gonna have camera one, camera two. Clean master, which is fully clean, no graphics. Another master, which is just gonna have the lower third. And then yet another master, which is gonna have all the graphics. So we'll have a lot of flexibility for post-production or on-demand content. We can quickly get it online. Right here is the Brainstorm server. I'm just gonna share this real quick. It's connected to NCAM, which is on our virtual production set. Amazing software, works with Unreal Engine. Fantastic. Here's our network. We have a dedicated NDI network. It manages everything that, that goes through the studio. Shogun Studio, we're gonna use these in addition to the Cinedex to make sure that we're recording all the ISOs to physical hard drives. It'll be old school sneaker net right off the video editors in this room. And we also have remote editors that are gonna be utilizing Frame.io, it's pretty cool stuff. Live view servers, two different live view receivers. Each one gets four feeds. If we have an internet connection issue, this one's on one connection, this one's on another connection. They're both fiber connections. And we've got another live view server as well. So I'm gonna walk back just a little bit. These are our Cinedec ZX servers I was just talking about. These are super important, Zixi Broadcaster. A lot of broadcasters use these to get actual broadcast feeds literally over IP. So we're going to Brightcove, the official partner of NAB Show Live and NAB Show and Broadcast Beat to do this. We have Zixi Broadcaster 1, 2, and 3. So this one's on one internet connection, another internet connection, and yet another internet connection. If this one goes down, it has two more as failover. This has it in a different order, and that has the internet connections in another order. So we've got a lot of fun redundancy going on. I'm gonna take you behind our server racks here. We have the NCAM server that I was mentioning. It shows the tracking points. But more importantly right now is communications. And communications are such a big deal, especially in Las Vegas Convention Center. You wanna make sure that you can have everybody connected from the studio here in Fort Lauderdale, talking with everybody, in Las Vegas. So we've got dedicated Wi-Fi connections in Vegas, backup Wi-Fi connections just in case, even hotspots. We have a Behringer rack mount console. And so what's that doing? That's connected to the FreeSpeak 2 from Clearcom, Unity Intercom, uh, and the folks at Unity are amazing. We've actually integrated over Dante, Unity Intercom with a Tascam Dante interface to talk to the Behringer, and the Behringer analogally, which is not a word of course, talking to the free speak. So everybody with headsets can talk to people with Unity and whatnot. And if we have a problem, of course we can, you know, we have IFB phone lines, we can go that far if we really had to if we have a problem. But that's it, that's the NAB Show Live workflow. Editors will be using Adobe Premiere with Frame.io, uh, at least in the remote locations. It's gonna be awesome, see you soon.